Back to Court TV Live. Opening statement set to begin Monday in South Texas with our next big live trial. We're going to be bringing you a former Border Patrol agent facing the death penalty potentially in the stabbing deaths of his ex-girlfriend and her toddler son. Defendant Ronald Anthony Burgos Avillas is accused of killing 28-year-old Griselda Hernandez and their one-year-old son Dominic. Prosecutors believe the target for the murders was baby Dominic from the start due to an ongoing child support battle. For a backdrop on the mistress and child murder case, here's Court TV anchor Ted Rollins. We are truly saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our heartfelt condolences go out to the victims, family and friends. Customs and Border Protection is taking this allegation very seriously. On Monday morning, April 9th, 2018, Griselda Hernandez and her 20-month-old son went to a Laredo, Texas park to meet with the child's father, Ronald Anthony Vargas Avilas. Hernandez was 27 years old, a single mother who was putting herself through nursing school. She wanted to meet with Vargas Avilas to ask him to help pay for daycare for their son, Dominic. According to court documents, Burgos was so furious that Hernandez would ask for child support because he was trying to keep his relationship with Hernandez and the birth of their son a secret from the woman he was living with when he killed Griselda and Dominic. The Webb County District Attorney told local station KRGV that Burgos was working his shift as a Border Patrol agent when he killed Griselda and Dominic. The information we have is that he clocked in that morning at 6 a.m. and that uh, we believe the murder occurred somewhere between 9.55 a.m. and 10. The bodies of Griselda Hernandez and her son Dominic were found in a wooded secluded area near the Rio Grande. They both had been stabbed multiple times. Burgos Avilas was considered the main suspect from the beginning. According to investigators, he made the 911 call asking for an ambulance. He became the primary person of interest in the investigation early, uh, um, the first few minutes of the case or hours of the case. Burgos Aviles is facing two counts of capital murder. The Webb County District Attorney is asking for the death penalty if Burgess is convicted, telling KRGV that it's because of how he allegedly used his background in law enforcement to commit the crimes. He used uh, his uniform and his specialized skill to carry out the crime, uh, decide when, where, how he was gonna do the crime, how he tried to cover up the crime. Oh my gosh, that was Ted Rollins reporting for us there. Uh, can you imagine, we're talking about his own son. And if these prosecutors are right, they're saying that this guy killed his mistress and his own child just to keep the secret from the woman he's living with. Wow. Let's bring in our guest now and talk some more about this. Criminal Defense Attorney Greg Isaacs and former special agent for the Department of Homeland Security, Dr. Jason Piccolo. Uh, Dr. Jason, uh, would you speak to uh, the investigation when you're going to go about something like this, when someone who's an officer of the law, how you go about investigating them, how they get treated, uh, kind of walk us through some of the behind the scenes things that our courties would find interesting, please. Well, Unfortunately, he used his position of power and his position to allegedly commit this crime. So he knows interview techniques. So as a law enforcement officer, as an investigator, I'm gonna probably approach him a little bit different than I would any other suspect because he knows typical interview techniques. And as a Border Patrol agent, you know, I started my career off as a Border Patrol agent. We don't get a lot of intense and depth interview and interrogation techniques, but you do know which way to look at it, which way an investigator might come at you with uh, to try to elicit a confession or elicit any information from me. So that is one way they're going to look at it. And then they're also going to look at like the totality of everything going on with his background experience and where the, the victims were located and if he worked that area and, and other areas. Sure. A question for you, please, Dr. Jason, to kind of follow up. How would you approach this guy? If you were tasked with doing the interviewing, uh, what would be the approach you'd take with him? You know, this is a difficult one. I would probably try to have some sort of rapport with him, as in, if, if it was me, I would say, hey, look, you know, I know where you're coming from. I started out in a border patrol. A lot of stress, a lot of issues going on with your life. You don't make a lot of money. You have so much going on. Maybe this was a crime of passion 
or you know, and I would try to elicit some type of confession or get more information um, if he's going to come up with other excuses like, well, somebody else did it, somebody else did it. Mm -hmm. And it gives you more uh, leads as an investigator. I appreciate it, Dr. Jason. You know, and taking it a step further, uh, Greg Isaacs, let me go to you with that. Um, heat of passion, could that be a viable defense here for him? Why or why not, please? Well, I think you framed the motive, and it's interesting. In, in every case, uh, we, lawyers, uh, we lie to jurors, and we say we don't have to prove motive, but yet we spend the next uh, three or four weeks proving motive to make the, the evidence make sense. Uh, in this case, you know, motive is twofold. It's a secret. And I don't think that equates to a crime of passion. Uh, you've got somebody relatively young, uh, didn't want to pay child support, according to the, the state's theory. Also, he didn't want the, the, the secret regarding his mistress and the sexual relationship uh, to be known by his significant other at the house. So uh, basically, he did not want to blow up his life uh, financially. He didn't want to blow it up romantically with a person that he had a relationship with. So I think that's far from a state of passion. I think it's a state of uh, narcissism and um, it's going to be a, a tough battle in the context of a capital case to humanize this border patrol agent for killing uh, that young child of the mother. Mm -hmm. Right, Greg. Yeah, he may be better off with the defense of uh innocence grounds wasn't me someone else did this and just try to make the state prove all these facts um you know he is cloaked in the presumption of innocence can't emphasize that enough uh these are just really really stomach turning allegations uh allegedly killing his own child here uh monday is when the state is gonna uh, uh the case is gonna open up excuse me we'll see the opening statements happening then we're gonna go there live when that happens